Welcome to my Strixhaven MTG Rian Premier Draft. We're going to have some draft picks. Hey there, 10k. How's it going? Hey, a long time to see. Hope you've been doing well. Remember you were doing a lot of Hades and the uh, Heroes of Hammerwatch, right? Said more Witch is really good. Urza's Rage is good. Overgrown Arch is good in that green-black deck. He did the base good. Mage Duel's good. Um, but I think the Sedgemore Witch's card is pretty absurd. Yeah, Urza's Rage is also pretty good too because it can't be countered. There's so many people running with like negates and test of talents and stuff. You want to be able to counter it, but Sedgemore Witch is a good one. Weather the Storm is not great. Killian seems really good. If we're going all in on that, Hunt for Specimens is okay. Um, this is like, eh. I think I just want to take the Killian, see if this is open, but I'm not like going to force this if I can. Tried Magic Legends, yeah, it's fair. I think Hunt for Specimens is really good, but Killian, just Menace Tribal seems pretty gas too. Oh man. Mage Hunter's Onslaught, Eliminate Dueling Coach, Spiteful Squad, Star Pupil. Wow! This is a smorgasbord of stuff. Um, I like the concept of Dueling Coach. I don't know if that's just too slow for like what um, Silver Quill wants to do though, right? Like maybe like an Eliminate or a Mage Hunter's Onslaught is just like better. In that type of deck. I don't know. It's it's really hard to say. Right? Ma Dueling Coach is definitely a card I want to try out. I just haven't really had time to do it, right? It's just like, it's, it's hard to try it out, I think. I don't know. I think it's like the Mage, the Eliminate. That might just that card might just be too slow. Okay. Um. Blood researcher or owl and shield mage. Yeah. Maybe we're just not doing this Killian deck. We're just doing a blood researcher deck. I do think frost trickster is good. It's like a little bit. You like the bird warlock. Is that card good? I don't actually know if it is. Like, it feels like it's kind of slow, but maybe it's like... Maybe it's like good in the deck that wants it, but I think Blood Researcher is pretty absurd. It's okay. I think we we'll take the Blood Researcher. We'll gamble on it. Hmm. I don't like any of these cards. I guess the Quandrix Apprentice is the best one. It's a bird warlock, yeah. These cards are, like, not exciting outside of the uh, Quandrix Apprentice is, like, the best one. But, man. I have lost to uh, Owl and Shield Mage, but I don't really like it that much, though. Like, it just feels, like, kind of meh. Honestly. Is Moldering Karok actually good? I don't know. I guess it's like very fillery. Who knows? I guess Study Break's like kind of okay, but we'll just. Bookworm. Okay, so I guess this Killian deck is not happening. Instead, we have replaced with um, Bookworm.deck. Karok is fine. I think it's like it's fine. I'm not like super excited about it. Like I think if you have a like it's it's a, it's a hill giant, but it does have lifelink or whatever, so I don't hate that. Right. I don't hate it and stuff. Blue looks like it's kind of open. I could definitely see taking the Scarred Colony, but I, I really like a single bookworm. I think if we're doing that, Ross Trickster. Um. Intro to Annihilation. We don't have any learn, which kind of sucks. When you get to eight, yeah, you have the ramp, which kind of sucks. Like, like you might just not actually have the ability to like ramp to that, right? For sure. Frost Trick is so good, but I think we just passed so many blue cards. I think I just take like the annihilate intro to Annihilation, maybe, and just like not really be excited about it.
cram session, maybe, because I do have a blood researcher. Dissector's okay and pest colors, yeah, maybe. Maybe we're supposed to be blue-red. It's hard to say. I, I don't mind, like, the cram session if that's some, if, like, if I get enough life gain stuff, but it's not, like, something I'm super excited about. And the pest. So I guess Prismari is kind of open. We're passing like a. I actually don't think Prismari Apprentice is that great or whatever, but we're passing like a. Um, we're passing like a. Uh, elemental summoning, which I think is fine, right? Or just take the 10 the pests for like the combo. I don't know. The talents have been tested. This doesn't do anything. It's a rare, I guess. Who knows? It's... Yeah, so Prismari was supposed to be doing several instances of the light gain. That's true. Yeah, green is not open, it seems like. But then what are we doing if green's not open? Like blue red? I don't know. It's it's really awkward. I don't know. I don't really want charge through. I think we're supposed to be just doing blue red. It feels like green is not open actually. Yeah, green's not open. I don't think that card's actually good. I think we just need to abandon this. Yeah, this sucks. So we just like lost half a pack or whatever, but yeah, green black is not open. Never bad to grab and negate at the end. God, look at all these cards in the sideboard that I can't play. Just take this Prismari command. I mean, you have to stay flexible sometimes with the Demogod Woe Eater, but they think we need to take the heated debate. Oh man. You have to be re you have to be willing sometimes in these draft formats to like switch colors like. If it's really, really not open, because if you're not getting your uh, guild cards, it's it's so painful. And then I guess it's a little bit open this direction, black. But I, I assume because black was really cut last pack, it should be kind of open this way. But I think we just take the compulsive research. It feels like blue. It, oh, really? It feels like blue red is actually kind of open to the table. But then I see like the lash of malice. And the village rights and stuff, I'm kind of sad. I don't think this card does a lot. I've had this happen before. There's like these drafts where it feels like um, one, one guild is really open until like near the end, and then it's like it's not open at all. Yeah, black green isn't like not open at all. Like some of these, like cutting it pretty hard. They are cutting it super, super hard now. This is his, like, three creature deck. Might need to play a 4-3. Playing a 4-3, I'm, kind of I'm kind of sad about that. Academic Dispute? Okay. Academic Dispute has some potential, we just don't have a lot of creatures is the problem. It's a learn card. Just ignore the fact that I only have three creatures, we'll get some. There's a Quintorius, there's also a Frost Trickster. I'm just gonna take the Frost Trickster.
Mercurial Transformation or Serpentine Curve. I have so many spells, I think Serpentine Curve is going to be good in the deck. Grinning Ignis is a 2 2 that can block stuff or like a curate to like do bleh. Curate does fuel the graveyard for the um. Some things, I don't know. Reject. I don't really want to play that, but I might have to. Enthusiastic Study or Vortex Runner. Just four creatures. We can get some more. Yeah, passing all those Frost Tricks there is pack one is, what, is what's hurting this deck. I think I might have to play a 2-3. Might have to play a 4-3. I don't know. I think blue-red is really open, but we might have put some people into it by passing all those Frost Tricksters. Right? Freaking Culmination Studies? No. Another Serpentine Curve, or an Elemental Summoning. I think it's another Serpentine Curve. Memory Lapse, Heated Debate, Illustrious Historian. Let's just take another Heated Debate. Passing a Silver Quill Command and like a Necrotic Fumes. Wandrix Cultivator, oh my god, some, passing some really, really powerful cards in these drafts, but it's okay, right? <laughs> Managing Verse. Another Serpentine Curve. I'm just gonna take, we're just gonna take all the curves. We, we've gone really crazy. We did something crazy with this deck, which is to play a bunch of Serpentine Curves and hope we make more than like 3 threes and 4-4s four and stuff. We can Enthusiastic Study to buff one of my creatures, which I don't have a lot of them, but... Mm. What? What? Arcane Subtraction? Or like a Pledge Mage? Deck building is all about curve, yeah. I don't know, we just kinda did something really weird here. I mean, I don't hate the Pledge Mage when we're playing like this many spells, right? It's just gonna constantly be like huge, potentially. In this deck, it's gonna be hard to cast. I really wish I had a Quandrix Pledge Mage. That would be pretty absurd in this deck. Another curve for Quandrix Pledge. I think I take the Quandrix Pledge Mage now. We have so many spells. This is gonna get gigantic, right? Our mana is gonna be a little bit bad, but I'm willing to try another Pledge Mage. Yes, please. I don't even have expensive spell for the Spectacle Mage. It's poopy. Right? This is just a 2-1 that can trade with things. I don't hate that. Gives me something to do later on the curve. Ooh, Elemental Summoning. Yes, please. For the sideboard. Freaking combination studies. No, it's like a pledge mage. Block. We're just like a pledge mage theme deck. I don't need a vortex runner now. Or a Fuming Effigy, no. Just play another Illustrious Historian. 
We could play the lore hole campus, a scry, maybe. I don't know, that's even worth it. Yeah, I feel like the big version of this deck is was not open or they were like maybe there maybe there was like a possibility to like um Yeah, it feels like the big version of this Prismari deck was was not open. So we're just doing like some weird combo deck. It's like a weird combo deck and I, I don't like it that much, but that's what we have, is like a weird combo deck. This deck is going to be kind of annoying for people, I guess. Like, there's going to be kind of annoyed by some of this stuff. Like, I just don't know if this deck does anything is the problem, right? Like this 1-5 seems kind of bad. I guess the Biblioplex assistant isn't really all that good either. We have like one, two ways to learn. Then we have like two things that are like kind of good to get as the summoning and the annihilation maybe at some point. How many spells? 13. I could just see cutting the Pledge Mage. It's kind of scary to like play this without like counters, right? Like this might just be better like this. Just like ship it like that. We're just play casually playing like a 1-5 and they're like weird aggro deck. Anyways, thanks for watching this uh, rad video. If you like what you saw, please check out the stream at twitch.tv slash mercurioblue. I will catch you in the next video.